Here we're going to look at an introduction to Hess's law, and Hess's law states that the entropy change of a reaction is independent of the route taken. So, for example, if I want to work out an entropy change of A to B, and I call that entropy change 1, well, that would be the same as... the entropy change of 2 plus 3. And what we're saying then is that the entropy change of this is equal to the entropy change of this plus this. So we would say then that 1 is equal to 2 plus 3, whatever these two entropy changes are. Now, if any of these arrows go the wrong way, to this big green arrow. So if I again want to work out an entropy change of A going to B, this time, this arrow is now pointing, both arrows now pointing up. And again, if I want to work out entropy change one, this time, we can see that this arrow now is going the wrong way, the opposite way to this big green arrow here. So now, entropy change 1 is equal to 3 minus 2. So if this arrow here, if one of the arrows is going the wrong way to this big arrow here, we change this sign to a minus. So if I've got, again, entropy change of A going to B, So we've got entropy change 1, 2, 3. And again, let's just draw my arrow. This time now, you can see that this arrow is going the opposite way to this big arrow here. So this time now, entropy change 1 is going to be equal to 2 minus 3. Minus 3. Why minus 3? Because this arrow here on where, for the number 3 is going the wrong direction. Now... There are three types of what we call Hess cycle. Hess's law can be used if we are given uh, data like enthalpies of combustion data. So if enthalpy of combustion data is given, we would set up the following Hess cycle. So we've got my reactants going to my products. And this is for the reaction I want to work out. And then we would look at the enthalpy of combustion of the reactants and the enthalpy of combustion of the products. And they will always give you the same thing. That will give you, we'll just say they're combustion products, but these will be the same. So I'm going to again call that 1, 2, and 3. So if we're given enthalpy of combustion data, that is the cycle that you would use. Okay, I want to work out the enthalpy change of this reaction given the enthalpy of combustion of the reactants and the enthalpy of combustion of the products. And we can see here that 1 is then going to be equal to, again, if I draw my big green arrow, I want to go from here to here, it's going to be equal to 2 minus 3. And we can see that arrow 2 is the enthalpy of combustion of the reactants, and arrow 3 is the enthalpy of combustion of the products. And that gives us an equation that we can use then. If enthalpy of combustion data is given, the enthalpy change then is equal to the sum of the enthalpy of combustion of the reactants minus the sum of the enthalpy of combustion of the 
products. Okay, and that matches what we've said. So that is an equation that potentially you would need to learn. If enthalpy of formation data is given, then we would follow, would set up, sorry, the following cycle. Again, reactants to products. This is the reaction that I want to work out the enthalpy change for. And this time, you would link them with the elements. So this here would be enthalpy of formation of the reactants. This would be the enthalpy of formation of the products. Again, label them one, two, and three. And we can see that in this case, my delta H is equal to, it's going to be now three minus two. Again, if I look at my big arrow, oops, the two arrow is going the wrong way, so it becomes minus. So what we've got here, the number three is the products. Number two is reactants. And that gives us an equation then we can use. Delta H then, if given enthalpy of formation data, is the sum of the enthalpy of formation of the products minus the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the reactants. And that is, again, a very important equation that you should be able to remember and apply. So that is an introduction there to Hess's Law. And the way that we get good at Hess's Law is just by practicing questions over and over again until we're comfortable with it.